Hi there, we're back with our trusty cube here. And in this uh, video, we're going to take a look at the inset tool. So that's another um, edit mode tool that we use to model. So I'm going to jump into edit mode here, go to face select uh, by pressing three on the uh, keyboard or up here. So then I'm going to select the top face here and then press I to inset this. And this is what the inset tool does essentially it takes whatever selection and just uh, kind of shrink it and create extra geometry around it like this so that's the basic functionality we also got uh, apart from the uh, shortcut key the I we also got the inset tool right here so I'm gonna select that select this face here and then click and hold and drag Remember that the tool works a bit different too. You have to hold and then on release, um, the uh, operation is confirmed. While using the shortcut key, just click and then you mouse click to confirm. So we made an inset. We also got some additional uh, features of this tool. And in order to uh, show you those, I'm gonna actually delete this cube now. And we are gonna add a torus, just press shift A there and mesh tools and then add this primitive in here it's going to zoom in here a bit and then we're going to tab into edit mode again deselect with a and uh, possibly alt a for you uh, to deselect you can change that in edit mode preferences key up here and select all toggles that's not on by default but i got, I got it on so that's why i can press a uh, to deselect so I'm going to select a few faces here and if I press I we get the same behavior that we had before. If I press I again we will have them individually so we can toggle between those with I. You can see up here in this uh, area appears a row of some, with some information when the tool is active and you can see oops, the thickness here and all that stuff. So. I can toggle the individual there to have them individually or bound together. Even if I have like two, three faces here and one here, I can have, have them inset like this or individually. All right. So faces that is uh, next to each other will inset together. Um, let's see here. We can also just hold control while this tool is active have this um, extruded or go inwards into the mesh here and then we can also use shift to kind of uh, get more granular control over that we can release control and have uh, the area that's inset uh, increased or decreased All right I'm gonna right click here to undo that uh, let's see oops Next, I also want to show you the um, outset feature so that we can actually add geometry outside of uh, the selected boundary here. So I'm going to select this face and just press I. And then I'm going to press O. And that will, you see, kind of make an outset like this instead of um, changing the geometry within our selection. And I'm going to confirm this here. And I'm going to show you that sometimes this behavior can be a bit unpredictable because as you can see here it changes the depth of the um, geometry around this area and uh, it's uh, it can be a bit unpredictable how much uh, it's gonna uh, decrease in depth here as opposed to just trying to uh, staying within the depth that's already defined uh, by the geometry that's there from the beginning Okay, so that's a couple of things to keep in mind uh, when using the inset tool. I hope you found this interesting and if you are interested in more tools, then you can go to the link in the description and find an article there that I've written about um, a few other tools, around 30 or so. So um, I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching.